This video will show you how to use the writing feature of your Cricut. I am going to show you how to make a tag using the writing feature. I'm going to go over to my images and I'm going to select a tag. I have some to make for a baby shower so I'm going to go to filter and uploaded and choose one that I uploaded that I like. I'm going to select this one and insert my image. I only need the black part over here so I'm going to ungroup it and I'm going to just delete that. Now I don't need the hole in the middle so I'm going to use contour and just get rid of that. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it a little better and I'm also going to change the color so it's a little lighter. Okay. It doesn't matter what color you choose for this, this will be your paper color. So I'm going to go over to text and I'm going to type in what I need. It's a girl and I'm going to choose alignment center. That's personally how I like it. It's taking a minute to load. Now I'm going to go over here to font. Now one important thing is, I'm going to get rid of that font, I'm going to go over to the filter button here and I'm going to choose writing. Now all of these ones that come up will have a writing style. There are a bunch in access, some paid, but I'm going to pick the baby steps one. I know, I like that right here. Now because I selected the style as writing right here, you can see that it shows up as the pen over here. Now I noticed that my font didn't align center, so I'm going to redo that. Now one thing that I like to do first is go up to my line space. You can start doing this, I feel that goes a little slow, so I like to just erase it. I'm going to click negative 8. That's about good for me. If I had done like a negative 10, it's a little too much, but you can always adjust from there. I'm gonna leave it at a negative eight. Now, I also don't mind that my letters aren't connecting because sometimes the pen draws a little bit thicker, so it, the lines get a little closer, but sometimes I do a test cut with it first to see how I feel. So, I'm pretty good with this. I'm just going to size it up how I like it, and then I'm going to select all and I'm going to go up here to a line and I'm going to center it horizontally and then I'm going to go back to a line and center vertically. That's good. So now I'm going to be using the Cricut pen from the Wisteria pen set and it's, I don't know if you can see that, 0.4 tip magenta. Can you see? Mm, not very well. But anyway, when I go over here to the color, I'm going to go down until I find the magenta 0.4 tip. Now it doesn't really matter because it's going to show you on the screen, but say I wanted to add something else to this and I wanted it to be, or let's say I want to do the same one, but I want a couple in the magenta and I want a couple different colors. So say I selected this and I'm going to duplicate it. And now say I want this one to be teal or turquoise. We'll choose the turquoise. So I'll show you in the next step how that will make a difference. So what I'm going to do is select these two and I'm going to go down here and attach. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Whoops. And I'm going to attach. Now you'll see when I select make it on two different mats but this is the teal and this is the magenta so your machine is going to write it out first and then it's going to cut it so when I press continue my machines on so let's hope we're close enough in range for my Bluetooth to connect but I'm it's going when it goes to your load tools and mat it's going to tell you and we'll pick cardstock. It's going to tell you right here to load the turquoise pen, the fine point blade, and load your mat. Now once it's done writing the turquoise, 
your screen will prompt you to change the pin. And that's it.